All right, everybody, we're gonna talk about Dansko. So what I have in my hand here is the clogs. These are stapled clogs, which I will show you here how they get that name. They are stapled along the sole here. So they direct stapled the leather to the sole. It's kind of hard to see in that one. Let me grab another one here. There you go. You can see the stapling a little bit better. These clogs are a rocker bottom. So that means you stand more directly on your heel and your follow through when you strike is heel to toe makes that rocking motion. We are supposed to properly walk from heel to toe. A lot of us don't, myself as an example, I drag my feet, but this will help you walk properly from heel to toe. So um, with the stapled clogs, they also have a little bit more of a roomier toe bed. Um, and then they also do have a padded collar here over the instep. There are three different versions of the stapled clog. So the first one is the traditional. So I will talk about that first. So the traditional is gonna be a leather upper, leather lined. It has an exposed heel counter here. It does have a PU outsole, which is this. And then I believe this is a two inch heel height. So that is the traditional. The traditional does always feel a little bit more firm, um, a little bit more of aggressive support that I would call it. So that is the traditional. The next one I'm gonna talk about is the LT, the Dansko LT. So here's the Dansko LT. This one's gonna have an EVA midsole. I don't, I should see if it's removable. I don't think this one is, no. So EVA midsole. Um, this one does have a heel height of 1.7, so just shy of two inches. This one does not have an exposed heel counter at all, but this is gonna be the light. So it's definitely, or sorry, the LT, it is gonna be definitely a little lighter than what the traditional is. Um, and does have a little different fit to it as well. So if you have a customer who is trying on the, the clog for the first time, you might as well bring out all three styles so that they can compare and see the differences themselves because they all do fit a little different. So that is the LT. Then lastly, I have what is the XP Pro. So the XP Pro does have a leather uppers, um, PU outsoles. This outsole is gonna be slip resistant. So this is, um, going to be slip resistant against oil and water so this is great for somebody who's in the kitchen or works in the occupational or nursing field um, or doctors this is a great thing for them i do like that this footbed is removable um let me get it out here it is tacked down inside against the felt footbed a little bit but they do pop up really easy so this is the insert that comes in the XP is so it's a little reinforced arch here it does have this nice um, removable foam footbed it's a natural arch this is an EVA insole and then I think I did mention that this does have the um, exposed heel counter as well and this is going to be the same height as the LT it's a 1.7 height of a heel here also, I am going to share a little piece that I have learned over the years with Dansko and especially the XP. So somebody who has a wider foot, I will fit into an XP. I will take out this insert and it's going to fit like the traditional wood. It's going to have a harder footbed, um, but does create a little bit more room for a higher volume foot. So I have had some customers that have really liked to do that and have returned and continue to do that. So that's just a little trick that I've learned. The Let's talk about the fit of the clogs for a little bit. The fit of the clogs are definitely different from anything we carry in the store. So yes, this does have a back on it, but we call it a clog. This back is just gonna help so that you do not turn in and out of the shoe. It is going to be, I call it almost purposeless that your heel is going to move up and down as you walk in this shoe. It is definitely, definitely a different fit. And you have to explain this to the customers. 
how I show that it is a proper fit, you should be able to take your pinky finger and stick it behind the heel here. If you can't get your finger in here, it's an improper fit. You do not want to be tight to this heel at all. So what happens is being that it's a rocker sole, it's very stiff. If your heel does not have any movement, you are going to create blisters on the back of your heel. Two, you're going to put a ton of pressure over your instep here and it's going to irritate the instep of their shoe. So, or of their, of their foot. So you one, want to make sure that it is properly fit. Also with the dance go, you don't want to see somebody jamming their foot into it. If it does not fit and it is too snug, try something different because with taking how I said, if they don't, cause the shoe doesn't have any bender flex to it, you put pressure over this instep over time. They are not going to wear them because they hurt. So make sure that this is also loose fitting. You should be able to kind of put your finger in there. Um, you do not want it to be snug at all. So that is the fit of the clogs. Um, they are definitely, definitely a unique support. They are firm. Um, you want to have wiggle room in your toes. And we talked about that pinky pinky width um, space in the back is very, very important. The nice thing with the clogs, different styles come in medium narrows and wides as well. So remember that. I know our Duluth um, store tends to carry a couple wides, maybe in a couple colors. Um, Grand Rapids has had them at times. I'm not sure about hitting, but they are not all of them, but some of them are available in those different widths as well. With that said, all the stapled clogs are all handmade. So they are all going to fit so different. I myself have loved one of the clogs. It was actually a version of this a couple of years ago. I put it on in a 41, fit me flawlessly. We had sold the 41, had gotten a new one in and I'm like, oh, I'm going to try them on again. I could not get my foot in it. So they all fit just a little different. They are all handmade. So if one doesn't work, try another, okay? So that is the clogs. I'm going to turn my page. And we are going to talk about the pace next and the cane. So I'm not talking about all of our dance goes today. I'm talking about obviously the clogs, which is a huge, huge business for us. And then a couple of the newer things. And then one at the end that it has been around with us for a while. But just a little refresh for everybody. So let's talk about the pace the pace is a newer walking shoe to us here at benders we they do have recycled uppers um uh, mesh uppers and liners so nice recycled um uppers which is a really nice feature this upper has a dual mesh so on the bottom of the mesh there is or I should say the bottom layer of this, where you can see it's kind of like a light gray. It's a very, very fine mesh so that nothing gets into the shoe if you're walking outside or on gravel. And then a bigger mesh on top that allows for breathability. So that's a nice little feature with the paste. They are all scotch guarded to help with stain resistance. Um, they do have a really nice um, arch and heel here for a little bit more stability. I'm going to pull out this insole. We're going to talk about the EVA insole here. There's two additional pads here for shock absorbance, one under the tarsal bones and one in the heel. This is really nice and cushy on the heel. We do have that reinforced arch in this insole. So really nice insert that comes within the pace here. It is a definitely a lighter weight tennis shoe. It does have a, um, I believe, let me look here. It is an EVA midsole, lightweight rubber outer sole and really nice long lasting wear. It is on a wider base that makes it a walking shoe. It doesn't really have that um, waist as I would call it. So it does help with that heel to toe strike and following through when you walk. We talked about the removal of foot pad and it is a 1.8 inch heel. So that is the pace. Uh, we do have it in multiple different colors. I just grabbed the black here to show you. The next thing we're going to talk about is the cane, which I believe all three locations have at least one of. The, ooh, losing the sticker. The cane is this new clog. This is 
an e whole EVA shoe. This is awesome. So here I just grabbed the blue and I grabbed the print that we have in the dogs. So it also has a removable footbed here, which is awesome. I love this footbed. So really nice cushion and shock absorbance, that reinforced arch as well. So really nice insole. This clog is awesome because it's fully washable. So this is an awesome garden shoe for somebody or occupational wear. Great, great, easy, clean. They have this painted wood grain. This is still EVA, but this is just a painted or printed pattern on the shoe. Nice arch. Um, did I already talk about the heel height? It's a 1.5 heel height on here. And it's just lightweight and great for everyday wear. So these are the two colors. I believe we have in Grand Rapids and the other stores do have, I think Duluth has a couple more colors and Hibbing may just have one. But that is gonna be the cane. Then the last one I'm gonna talk about, it does have a sister shoe, which I unfortunately don't have in the Grand Rapids location. I know Duluth carries it. So this is the Paisley and the sister to this shoe is the Patty. And Patty is a slip-on version of the Paisley. I love selling it. Um, it does fit a little more true to a shoe, a slip-on, um, and it's great for walking, great for everyday wear, and you don't have to have laces. So that's why I like the Patty. Um, so sorry I don't have that to show to you today. But a few features of the Patty and Paisley is they're all suede uppers, they are waterproof, and they are seam sealed. So that's awesome. I didn't realize they were seam sealed. So nice little feature to share with people as well. They also have an odor control built into them. It's called Angus, Angus Shield Odor Control. They do have a natural arch on this EVA footbed with a little built-in shank for stability. So really nice insole here, a little bit of an arch, very cushioning and shock absorbance. This is EVA. And then I talked about having the shank and then the alt sole to the patty and the paisley. Here is a Vibram alt sole and it's slip resistant also. So Vibram is a company that creates rubber alt soles for many, many brands. And so Dansko has used the Vibram on this shoe and the patty. So really nice. I like um, selling this as a walking shoe to people. Um, there are people that just wear it as their everyday shoe. As you all know, my mother, Linda, who works here, she wears this almost every day. I think she has it in multiple, multiple colors. And yeah, so that's the Paisley and the Patty. Like I said, unfortunately, I don't have the Patty here to show you, but if you're in Duluth, go grab the Patty and check it out. So that is Dansko. If you have any questions, come find me. Thanks. Bye.